today I'm in a different background. I'm in my backyard and this is my beetle right here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a foldable chair. And I actually found this chair um, in my neighbor's trash. They threw it out and I was like, oh my god, I need a chair and I can totally change it and revamp it and it's going to look awesome. So make sure to keep watching to see how to do it step by step. stencil here and one here. The first one is this one. I actually googled, um, I think it was, uh, what was it, filigree and I found uh, this one which was the one I like that I'm going to be putting right here and I cut out from this piece of, uh, it's like a, those like file folders because it was like the thickest um, paper I had and I used an X-Acto knife to remove all those little holes. So yeah, I'm going to be using this one. And I'm going to be putting it in the middle. I have this tape. Make sure your, your chair is nice and dry because if not, it will peel off once you take this off. So make sure it's set in the middle. And now I have my acrylic paint and it's like a gold finish. And I have this little sponge applicator. And you're going to be grabbing your paint and make sure it doesn't have too much. And then you're gonna grab your stencil and make sure you go like that. So now I put my other stencil and I put some tape here and some tape here. Make sure it's situated in the middle. And now I'm going to do, be doing the same technique on this one, but on this one. So I'm going to grab my paint, grab my stencil, and do not brush it on, stipple it on. removing my stencil and I actually did two coats of this paint because it's not really pigmented but if it's really pigmented you only need one layer so it's kind of dry now I'm going to be taking them off so that's one and then this one there you go that's that one so I think they turned out awesome and you can even um Finish it up by doing with a um, smaller brush going around it, but I think I'm going to be keeping it like that. I think it turned out awesome. And you can even put a fixative on top or a clear gloss all over the, um, the chair so this doesn't fade off. Like when, when you're sitting on it, it'll probably fade off. So I would recommend putting a clear gloss on top of the entire chair. 
So this is how it turned out. I'm actually sitting on it right now, and this is how it looks. I'm gonna be showing another clip so you guys see it uh, more up close. And I really like how it turned out. I'm gonna be using it for my desk, and I'm gonna, maybe I'll make like a pillow as well for it. So yeah, I think it turned out awesome. If you guys do these type of projects, make sure to comment down below or check out my social media. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Today I'm in a different background. I'm in my backyard and this is my beetle right here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a foldable chair. And I actually found this chair um, in my neighbor's trash. They threw it out and I was like, oh my god, I need a chair and I can totally change it and revamp it and it's going to look awesome. So make sure to keep watching to see how to do it step by step.